Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a look into the bearish targets that we have currently since we are still in this downtrend in the short term. But before we start with the content my friends I just want to give my big shout out and respect to this Reddit group that made a big strike against Wall Street. They put them together to fight the big short positions that the Wall Street had against the stock GameStop. This, my friends, is the proof that the community is stronger than the system. So what they have done here, you can read in several articles. By now, you probably already heard about this news where a big Reddit group put them together to fight against the Wall Street that had big shorts opened on this stock GameStop and what happened is that they bought up that stock in order to liquidate the short positions that Wall Street had against GameStop. So this is a really amazing move my friends and I have to give a big shout out to this great Reddit group. This strong community that can move the market so strongly my friends is what I also want to see here in the crypto space and that's why it is so good to be in the crypto space. This is a really great example on how also these big bosses out there react to such kind of things. They immediately started to censor all the discord groups, twitter channels and so on in order to go against them and right now or even the SEC wants to go against this price action that happened on the stock. So this is a great example my friends on how the big bosses out there are manipulating everything in order to control the market and that's why my friends we are also in the crypto space where no one can just censor or manipulate the market as the big bosses are doing over in the stock market. So in Bitcoin no one can censor or block it and that's why my friends we are also here in the crypto space. So what this Reddit group did to the Wall Street was basically just showing the middle finger to them and telling them that we are bigger than you and the community is still stronger than the system. And the funny thing is that currently it looks like that they are planning to now pump Dogecoin. So this is really nice to see this potential next, next project that they have and of course right now you are seeing all the Dogecoin pumping like crazy because of that. You can already see here Dogecoin is completely going parabolic and it seems like they want to bring the price up to one dollar. So let's see if they are able to push Dogecoin up to those levels. I'm always holding a little bit of Dogecoin just because it's a meme coin. There is no fundamentals, nothing behind this coin but it is just fun to have some of these meme coin. So let's see if they really can bring the price up to one dollar. This will be very fun to see. And now my friends let's start with the content. We're gonna start as usual here in the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price because currently we are having a buy signal here and we are pushing right now to the upside towards our potential resistance up here at around $33,000. Because as you can see after we got here a confirmed buy signal in the 4 hour time frame currently the price is trading here towards a 20 moving average at $32,000. Be very careful my friends if you're trading this signal already now because we are still in this potential pattern here where we have a clear resistance up here at around $36,000 thousand dollar and the support down here at 28,000. So I wouldn't recommend to take a trade already now before we're going to see a breakout here to the upside or to the downside but of course if you're scalping a little bit over on Bybit and Femex where you can go long where you can go short so you can make profits wherever the price is going also as long as we're trading within this potential falling wedge we can in theory long the bottom here and short the top but if you want to trade safe and you want to trade the big move then wait for a breakout and also confirmation above resistance or below the support. So currently we're still trading below all the moving averages so even if we see a pump towards 36,000 or maybe even only down here towards 33,500 where right now the 200 moving average is lining up I'm expecting still to get rejected there only if we are able to close 4 hour candles at least above 
above the 200 moving average, then I think we could be in here for a retest of this main resistance of $36,000. And then we will see if we are strong enough to push higher or not. So even though the four hour time frame now is looking a bit more bullish, there are still some warning signs. We are still below all the important moving averages here and also the RSI is still below the 50. So there is a very high chance that we already get rejected here at 32,000 and we will continue to go lower towards our main support down here for around $28,000. And I also told you in yesterday's video, my friends, that it's going to be very interesting to see once the price is reaching this area here, $28,000, if we are able to hold this support or if we're gonna go lower towards our next potential targets down here at around $24,000 and maybe even go lower towards 20k. It is still in the cards and I still expect these price levels to be reached before we're gonna create a new bottom and then gear up for the next parabolic move to the upside and also break this resistance line that we have currently above of us. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands, also here you can see that currently we're still trading on the bearish side. We have Stochastic coming up here now into overbought condition. Here, as soon as we're topping out and having a bearish cross, I'm expecting here the next continuation to the downside. But as long as the Stochastic is shifted to the upside and we are not seeing here a bearish cross, we could see a pump even towards these 33 to $34,000 before topping out here. So if you took this long position, especially if you are trading upon my own buy and sell signals over on Discord with the live stream that you can get there, then make sure to put a stop loss as soon as you are in profits because we are still in a very dangerous zone here. So even though we could pump towards this $34,000 to $36,000 area, that doesn't mean that we are out of the woods and we will go towards 40 k and higher. We still can be rejected up at those levels. And if we go now over into the daily time frame, here you can see that we are still in a downtrend. We are still getting rejected by the nine daily moving average. And as expected, we are bouncing here between the nine daily and 50 daily moving average. So as long as we are closing daily candles between here, I'm expecting the price to go sideways. As soon as we're gonna have a daily close above the nine daily or below the 50 daily, we're gonna see potentially then big continuation to the downside here or to the upside, of course. And even if we're gonna have a daily close above the nine daily we still have the 20 daily moving average at the resistance here at around $35,000 that still could act as a huge resistance even if we see a daily close above here the nine daily moving average which currently is a very strong resistance and in the RSI you can see that we're still trading below the 50 so in theory we should expect a continuation to the downside also if the RSI is getting rejected here we have a lot of room left to the downside and therefore I'm expecting this huge move towards 28,000 potentially even towards 24 or 20k and in my own indicator we still didn't get a buy signal so as long as here we're not seeing a buy signal I'm still a bit cautious I'm waiting here to get a confirmed buy signal in order to stack up some nice long positions over on Bybit and Femex and of course order to buy some more Bitcoin because this correction that we're seeing right now could be really the last chance to buy some cheap Bitcoin before we're going towards new levels so the daily time frame in my opinion still keeps the gateway open to see corrections down towards 24 or even 20k and also look at the 200 daily moving average slowly slowly is coming very close here to the 20k area where in my opinion we will have the most support if we're gonna see here continuation towards here these bearish targets and if we go over now into the weekly time frame here you can see that yesterday we tested the nine weekly moving average this was my first target to be reached here after we got a sell signal in the weekly time frame and as expected we have seen now an initial bounce from it so right at $28,800 the problem is only that if this $28,000 area will not hold we're gonna go straight towards this $24,000 which in my opinion also could be a potential bounce area but I'm not expecting that much of a support here I think if we're gonna lose the 9 weekly moving average we're definitely going down to revisit the 20 weekly moving average currently at $20,700 and therefore also cool off here the RSI completely down to the 50 level where then I'm expecting a huge bounce again to the upside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to buy as much as possible between 28 and 20k 
because I think this is really the worst case scenario for now that we're going to correct even down towards the 20 weekly moving average. And always when we had sell signals here in the weekly time frame, we always came down here also in previous bull markets down to the 20 weekly moving average, tested it and then had a continuation to the upside. So that's why I'm pretty confident that we could revisit this 20k area, maybe even have some weeks to the downside towards 16 or 17 thousand dollar because if we go over into the monthly time frame you can see that the nine monthly moving average is right here at 16 thousand five hundred dollar it's perfectly lining up with this previous strong resistance that we had and right now it should be acting as a strong support so if you see the price going below the 20 weekly moving average watch out here for the nine monthly moving average at 16,500. I don't think that Bitcoin will go ever again below the nine monthly moving average during this bull cycle. So if you're seeing the price going below the 20 weekly moving average, watch out for this price target. And also keep in mind that on the CME chart, we still have some future gaps below of us, especially these big ones here down to $23,000 and even down here towards $18,000. So if you are really seeing here this loss of support here currently at $28,000, I'm expecting maybe to have a fake out here to the downside to cover these future gaps and then immediately recover back up within the falling wedge and then have the big breakout here to the upside. If we're going to lose this $28,000 support, I'm expecting a fast recovery if we're going to see here a flash crash or anything like that because it is still very likely that we will come down towards 20k and then potentially even have some daily closes below 20k to cover all these CME gaps that we have below of us maybe test even the nine monthly moving average which also in the past acted always as a very strong support and then gear up for the next big move to the upside which will take out also this all-time high that we had currently at $42,000 and now let's go quickly over into the ethereum price because ethereum is still strong here above the 20 daily moving average right here at 1230 and i told you my friends that as long as we're not closing daily candles or at least four hour candles below 1100 dollar we are still within this pattern here that could end up in an ascending triangle or maybe even into a rising wedge which of course is a bearish pattern but overall ethereum is also looking very bullish and i'm expecting here also big fireworks to the upside especially if bitcoin is also breaking resistance and go and test the old all-time high of forty two thousand dollar only if bitcoin would crash towards 20k i'm expecting also here in ethereum a potential breakdown at least towards this one thousand dollar area and if this area will not hold then watch out here for the main support that we should have right now at around 630 dollars so if bitcoin is going towards 20k i'm expecting ethereum to have a retracement down to 600 30 dollars but that would be really the worst case scenario and you can also see that the 200 daily moving average is also coming very close to this main support that we should have right now at those price levels so if you're planning to buy some ethereum then maybe wait till the price is coming down to these levels here to buy big positions otherwise i just recommend you to dca slowly in whatever coin you want to invest because like that for the long term you will be doing fine of course and now before we're going to wrap this up, my friends, let's have a look also into the DXY quickly, because as you can see, we had a breakout from the symmetrical triangle yesterday. And in the four hour time frame, it looks like that we are coming down now to test the new support that we have in theory now at around $90.50. And I told you that if here the DXY is able to push towards the 100 or 200 daily moving average, which previously acted as a support this area, now it should be acting as a resistance we should see this big correction in the Bitcoin price and therefore also big corrections in the altcoin space if the DXY is really able to push towards these price levels above of us. And as you can see now, we closed above the 50 daily moving average for the first time. Previously, it acted as a resistance and right now it could be a new support. So if the DXY is bouncing now from the 50 daily moving average, I'm expecting here the price to come towards the 100 or 200 daily moving average and that could lead into a short term 
bigger correction the bitcoin price that we are waiting now for so long and as i told you my friends don't go and panic sell take it as a very good buy opportunity because bitcoin is here to stay and will go to way higher prices and in the very close future we have done several bullish moon boy videos already with potential targets towards the end of the year it doesn't mean that here as soon as we're going to break resistance we go straight towards 100k but at least we will move towards next levels above 50k 60k and so on until we're going to reach the final targets potentially towards the end of this year so with that said guys i'm going to wrap it up for now don't forget that if you want to trade over on bybit or femex with leverage bitcoin and other cryptos use my referral links down below here you will get some extra cash if you use my links and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you want to make some gains in the crypto space then try out prime xpt because here you can easily copy trade other traders on all of these exchanges you don't need kyc nothing just email top up some bitcoin and you can immediately start to trade and please join also our free discord trading chat we have the best discord trading chat out there we have a very great community shout out to all the members over there it's completely for free and everyone is welcome and if there are still some no coiners out there watching this video make sure to open up right now an account over on swissborg binance or coinbase because with my links you can get some free money and some free cryptos and those are all the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. So with those exchanges, you are able to buy everything you want. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends. Hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do daily TA videos and also tick the little bell next to the subscribe button because like that, you always get notified as soon as I upload a video. And make sure always to use the links down below here, my friends. I will never send you any kind of links or phone numbers on the comments because currently there are a lot of scammers that are copying my name and logo and sending scams to all the people that are commenting my video. So be very careful, my friends. Only use the links that you find in the video description. Don't fall into the scammers traps that you find in the comment section. So thank you again for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.